We have finished our first round. Uh, we'll have an opportunity for another. I appreciate the fact, Governor, that you have been uh, sitting for a considerable period of time. Hopefully, we will be able to move quickly through this second round uh, and, and, and not put you through too much more if, you're, if, you're, if you've got the endurance. I'm, I'm here at your service, ma'am. That's what we love to hear. We appreciate that. Um, Governor, I'm, I'm just looking through my morning clips and the front page of the Fairbanks Daily News Miner where I went to high school. Frigid Fairbanks today and the Denali State Bank sign uh, that has the temperature says it's 52 below. That's the picture. So it's cold back home. And uh, when it's cold, you need to stay warm. And when you need to stay warm, sometimes, again, it can be very costly to stay warm. And so when we talk about all of the above energy policies uh, in Alaska, we, we really live it, and perhaps more so than others, because at times of the year like this, your life depends on your ability to, to keep warm. But it's not just the oil and the natural gas and the coal and the fossil fuels that we have. Um, the people in Fairbanks don't have the benefit of natural gas. They are a community that right now is effectively relying on home heating fuel, uh, so it's expensive for, for my sister to keep the house that I was raised in to keep it warm during the winter time. And so as we look to find solutions, one of the things that we're looking to in Alaska is, is the, the prospect, the ability to, to access our natural gas from the slope and, and to be able to, to access that for the benefit of Alaskans and, and really for the benefit of the country. So I, I look forward to your commitment to help us work to facilitate that natural gas pipeline. But we also have so much more. We've got the wind. We don't have a lot of solar right now. It's a little bit dark, but that changes very soon. But we have incredible opportunities. 24% of, of our energy produced in the state comes to us from hydropower, amazing resource down in the southeastern part of the state. Unfortunately, hydropower isn't viewed as a renewable resource. I'd like to work to change that with you. Uh, but we also have 33,000 miles of coastline. That's a lot of coastline. That's a lot of water. That's tidal energy. That's, that's marine hydrokinetic. If we, can, if we can harness the power of the Yukon and the Kuskokwim, I mean, it is bountiful. We have the biomass potential. We have, again, pi pioneered in so many different ways. We want to be able to utilize microgrids, but right now the definition of microgrid says that you have to have the ability to connect and disconnect from your grid. Well, if you don't have a grid in the first place, then you don't count as that. So we need to work with you as the incoming secretary to make sure that we're not standing in the way, that our own federal government isn't standing in the way of this innovation that's coming from our national labs, that's coming from the innovators on the ground as we're working to help facilitate this. So we, we need you to help us cut through a lot of, of what uh, has been put in place that hold back the innovation, that keep the people in, in Fairbanks right now that are trying to stay warm, and it's costing them a pretty penny to do so, to give them the assurances that they've got options. So I, I look forward to, to working with you on some of those specifics. One of the things that we don't have in Alaska, as in all of the above state, we don't have any nuclear. We're, we got a small population, you know that. But the prospect for what small modular nuclear reactors, and Senator Risch almost got to his question here, and so I'd like to, to have you address that as you yep. talk about the broader panoply of, of, of energy options. But the potential for, uh, for small remote communities, or whether it is our military installations up there at Eielson, for instance, a good example, um, some of our forward operating base outposts, but as, as Senator Duckworth made, made the point, and I think appropriately so, reliance on at-risk fuel supplies can be life-threatening. So the potential that we have with micro and, and small modular reactors, including the more advanced reactors, I think hold great prospect for us. Can you speak to, to how you view 
the, the role for advanced nuclear and small modular reactors? I, I'm not sure I can do it any more eloquently than you just have, uh, Madam Chairwoman, but the, the point is those are exactly the types of focus that the Department of Energy should be engaged with, uh, should be funding. Um, I will share with you uh, that I will help you uh, in, in any small or other way uh, if the, there needs to be legislation that changes federal laws on the microgrid issue, I'll be more than happy to help you do that because it makes abundant good sense that, again, this is that old classic um, of one size doesn't fit all, uh, that, it, that it really hadn't thought through. Maybe a really great idea. My home state happens to not be attached to the federal grid either, and it works pretty well for us. But we, we're, we're a diverse country. We've got a lot of different geography. We've got different people. We've got different regions. And to thoughtfully put into place energy policies that take into account that diversity is really important. So you have my commitment not only on, I'm, I'm obviously a very strong supporter of this new technology. Uh, obviously, we want to look at it from a safety standpoint. We want to look at it from the standpoint of being able to secure it properly of these small modular nuclear reactors. But there are places. Uh, Senator Duckworth and I had that conversation. Uh, that uh, particularly uh, from a, a military application to f power those bases, of which you have a number of uh, in your home state, may be a good starting point on those and then plug them in, if you will, to the nearby neighborhoods and, and, uh, and have that alternative form of energy uh, that can, in fact, uh, make it available and affordable. Good. Thank you.